are now available on Tata Sky channel number 526. You are what you create. Well, in one sense, it's all about creating something or the other. Whether it's about the food you cook, or a painting you draw, or a poem you write, it's finally about the creative process. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Vastu Show. I'm your host, Suesha Samant, and on today's show, although we'll have a slightly more focused approach towards creativity, we'll tell you all that you wanted to know about Vastu for creative professionals. With me, as always, is our Vastu expert Rasesh Shah and the beautiful Annabel, who runs this ballet school called Bella Academy. Hi, Annabel. Welcome to the show. Hi, Rasesh. Hello, Swesha. Annabel, I'm so happy that I'm in your school today because I'm also typically one of those girls who's always wanted to dance ballet. It's but... a pleasure to have you here today. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, of course, it's never happened. So I'm happy I'm meeting you. But before I ask you anything else, I want to ask you that you know. Have you always been a believer in Vastu, or is it something that you learned about a few years back? Well, I was recently introduced to Rishesh Shah, and I think in today's day and age, it's really important to do your best yeah. in every possible way. Of course. And Vastu, I feel, has made a big difference, definitely psychologically, and not only psychologically. Of course, it does. You can feel a difference, and. I think it's really important. So, please tell us something about yourself. How many years has it been since you've been dancing? Where did you study? And uh, when did you start this academy? Well, I've been dancing since a very young age. It's been about 20 years now. I started this academy in 2009, so that's about seven years today. And I'm really happy to have met Rishesh Shah about three years ago. And since I met him, of course, I've taken his advice and gotten all the corrections done. And I think that it. Has definitely made a big difference in every way, psychologically and otherwise, and it feels great. I'm really happy. I can feel a difference uh, in the studios, in my workplace, and in my, you know, my home space. And I think that's really important. There's so much competition, so you want to know that you're taking every measure to do your best. So basically, so. like you said, it's psychological as well as the fact that you know, you know, you want to ensure that everything is correct. So even if it's vastu, you want to ensure that you know. Definitely, for sure, you want to know that you're doing every possible thing, you know, to to make your workspace perfect. And and I really enjoy working with young children. So you know, you want to make sure that you create the the perfect environment for them as well. So what are the changes you made here? Uh, Suisha, we made quite a few uh, changes here. Uh, uh, When Annabel got me here, she was very particular that we couldn't do anything with the structure. Mm -hmm. So whatever changes that we've made are non-destructive in nature. All right. You know, dancing is all about rhythm. Yeah. Uh, it's about balance. It's about flow. Yeah. Flow, equilibrium, and that's what Vastu is all about, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, it's about uh, introducing uh, rhythm energetically in a space. Mm. That is what we've done. Uh, Swesha, when she got me here to this uh, place, uh, the first thing that I noticed was this irregularly shaped uh, structure. That's something I also noticed. <laughs> yes. And I wanted uh, to ask you what you did about uh, it. Swesha, we've done a non-destructive uh, energy rectification here. Hmm. Also, Swesha, there's something that I would uh, want to, you know, tell the viewers. Uh, I've always said that Vastu for creative people is different. And I have a very contrarian view in terms of what is being propagated. Hmm. Uh, this place is facing the south. Okay, and you always say no. You never say that, but in Vastu, it is believed that a south-facing property is not uh, the that's best. That's that's the property. perception. But since <laughs> she is into uh, uh, creativity and she does creative work. This is the direction which is in sync with the work that she is doing. So, are you trying to imply that South works well for creative people? Yes. Okay. It is one of the most favorable directions for creative people. Also, Swesha, I was talking about this irregularly shaped uh, structure. Hmm. Uh, now, what we did was, Swesha, there is a vastu correction that has been incorporated. Hmm. Uh, I will, with the help of the instrument, all right, um, establish the impact that these corrections have brought. Uh, in the space, hmm. uh, Swesha, this is this space is negative. Okay. Okay. The space ahead is positive. And also, I can see a lot of these copper strips. Yes. So Now, separated if, the two. Correct. So okay. if I enter into this positive space. 
space or the positive zone here okay the instrument will point towards the negative area hmm. okay hmm. now if i put my foot in the negative zone hmm. both the arms of the instrument will open up okay which the means that this is the negative of, zone yes i am in the negative zone the opening up of the arms of the instrument sideways indicate that i am in the negative zone all right okay now what needs to be seen is swesha can you see those energy spirals yes. which has been installed yeah. on the floor yeah now the moment i put my foot on one of the spirals see the impact on the instrument which means it's turned positive correct mm -hmm. this is we've neutralized the negative energy okay okay if i take my foot back It's gone sideways again. Yes, yes. Uh, the same thing happens when I walk into the positive zone. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Here the instrument will not open sideways, but it will again start pointing towards the negative area. Hmm. So if I put my foot here, this is the impact. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So this was one major violation which has been nullified. Hmm. What we've done is we've ha we have installed nine. plates on either sides mm -hmm. and the center has been left open for mm -hmm. the energy to enter and but before i go to him i want to know what was your reaction when you saw this for the first time i was like are you serious <laughs> 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 i have to change my location because of the master but thankfully after the corrections were done he's like no it's fine you can stay here you can carry on your activities as like okay thank god yeah so, so i'm really happy it was taken care of definitely because yeah. these things you know it would, it would have bothered me a lot to know mm. that this is negative this space <laughs> so yeah so this he's done a lot of corrections here in fact and with that we can strongly reinstate on the fact that vastu is not about uh, demolition and you know breaking up structures situation. It's possible to totally correct a structure Absolutely. without breaking it. Absolutely, hmm. we can energetically uh, resolve all major structural issues in any given space. Now, this is one change you've made. What else have you changed apart from this? Uh, Swisha, as you can see, that this entire thing is a dance floor. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, there are these beams. Yeah. Uh, you know, on the dance floor. to nullify the impact of the beams we've installed those clips spirals yes okay. uh, copper clips copper spirals on the four corners of the beams all right and because uh, you know she has her classes here uh, uh, the impact the negative impact was exactly on the dance floor now anavel coming to you do you believe that uh, vastu uh, helps creative people think better and execute their work better 100% it definitely does it it definitely helps you to think clearly again at least in your mind you feel like you know you have a nice open space now there's no negativity in the space so it, it definitely makes a difference it helps you to think clearly and um, and broaden your ideas and like for sure definitely like for example in my in in the studio and in my home i have another studio as well so we've done a couple of things there here there are windows so you can't really you know play around too much with that but rishesh had advised that i put up uh like pictures of ballet dancers like art you know i have a lot of art i collect art at home so he said put it on one of these walls and it will enhance your creativity so i've done that and it really works like i feel like you know the ideas just come naturally wonderful so yeah so which are mirrors are a part of every uh dance institute definitely right? and uh, to my memory i i remember once you had said that in a dance school the mirror should not face the entry door correct does that stand like is yes, that right yes swesha why don't you see the mirrors here hmm. uh swesha these mirrors have been installed in a manner where they are not facing the entry door mm -hmm. they are not in the line of the main door at the same time they've been installed in such a way that they are Uh, facing the right direction also all right what direction are they uh, facing the mirrors are cladded on the eastern side uh -huh. on the east wall yeah. you know of the classes so uh, the mirrors are right from a vastu perspective did you also see a change in perception um, when it came to your students or their parents like did you did you feel the change in that sense 
Definitely. I mean, you do feel like the children, and they've always enjoyed their class, but you want to know that every little effort you're putting in, like the teachers that I have and the entire team, whatever efforts they're putting in, is giving the biggest results. So I feel that in doing the Vastu corrections, I feel that I'm 100% confident that I've done everything I possibly can, mm. that the kids are having a great time, and I think they absolutely love their ballet classes. <laughs> and I, and I, you love them. Yes. No, and I love teaching as well. So, but definitely the Vastu has made a big difference. Thank you so much, Annabelle, for having us here. Thank you for being here and thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. And of course, Rasesh, we'll see you in a while in the Great studio. Session. Now, creativity, it is believed, is all about the flow. But can this flow get hindered because of the internal structure of your house? The colors, the shapes, the kind of furniture you place? Can all these factors influence your creative juices? In short, what's the most vastu compliant space for a creative person? That's exactly what we'll talk to Rasesh about in this segment. Now, Rasesh, while we are discussing my favorite topic, creative people, uh, you know, we often hear these things that uh, creative people are influenced by Venus. Now, I don't know if that information is correct, but to get a clear picture from you on that, what is the ideal orientation and planetary influence for creative people? Yes, Rish, our planetary influences play a very important role in any creative person's life. When we talk about creative people and Vastu, uh, there is this misconception, there is this misnomer that Vastu does not have any say for those people who are working in a creative uh, field, mm. uh, which is not right. Uh, because the energy levels of a structure, the vibrations which are around you, and the subtle influences of different energy forces does have a very important role to play when it comes to creativity. But what uh, are the planets that govern or control creative people? Swisha, so, Moon and Venus are two dominant planets. Chandra and Shukra are very important planets which can be a creative person in their life. If any Vastu enhancement feature is incorporated in the southeast corner, Hmm. of the property, the Venus automatically becomes stronger. Hmm. If the northwest corner is rightly charged or activated, the moon becomes stronger or, or there is a different way of looking at it. When the elemental balance is right in any property, okay, the energies are balanced. So what directions should they face? Now, what direction should they face is again very individualistic. But here, let us discuss how can we charge a space in terms of Vastu. Hmm. To do that, uh, let's look at the contrarian side of Vastu. Uh, Suesha, as we all know that uh, this universe, uh, in this universe, everything is interconnected. Agar main kisi ki property mein southeast ko rightly activate kar dun, hmm. ya northwest ko activate kar dun, hmm. to uski impact uske Venus or moon pe aayegi. Agar southeast corner mein wo sahi elements ho, jo ki wahan pe zaruri hai, aur northwest corner mein wo elements ho, jo ki wahan pe zaruri hai, hmm. from a Vastu perspective, to unki kundli mein moon or Venus अपने आप पॉजिटिव हो जाते हैं। स्वेशा वास्तु इस एक मल्टीडाइमेंशनल साइंस। वन ऑफ़ दी डोमिनेंट एलिमेंट इन द साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर इस फायर। बट देर आर अदर एनर्जीज़ आल्सो। सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज़ दैट इट इज़ नॉट ओनली एक्टिवेटेड व्हेन यू हैव फायर कॉर्नर किसी आर्टिस्ट की कमर्शियल स्पेस है तो वो साउथ ईस्ट में किचन नहीं रखने वाला hmm. लेकिन अगर साउथ ईस्ट में वो एक क्रिस्टल का वाज रख दे hmm. या किसी क्रिस्टल का शो पीस या ग्लास का आर्टिफैक्ट रख दे hmm. तो साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर अपने आप एक्टिवेट हो जाएगा तो रसी से हमारे लिए थोड़ा सिंप्लीफाई कीजिए कि अगर हमें वीनस को स्ट्रॉन्ग करना है तो उसके क्या क्या एलिमेंट्स हैं स्वेशा टू एंश्योर दैट द साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर इज राइटली एक्टिवेटेड uh, and the creative juices in that particular space keeps on flowing unhindered. There are things that can be placed. Mm -hmm. For example, cut glass ka vase mm -hmm. is one thing that can be placed in the southeast corner. Uh, you could place crystal artifacts. You could place uh, show pieces uh, again made out of glass. Um, you could have illumination. 
विच इज इन सिंक विथ दी प्लानट वीनस तो अगर साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर में uh, इन चीज़ों को रखा जाए दूसरा किसी भी आर्टिस्ट के uh, किसी भी आर्टिस्ट या किसी भी क्रिएटिव इंडिविजुअल uh, की प्रॉपर्टी में अगर आप मिरर को साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर में प्लेस करते हैं ईस्ट वॉल पे यानी कि दक्षिण और पूर्व का जो कोना है तो पूर्व की दीवार पे अगर आप एक शीशा या आईना लगाते हैं तो वो भी वीनस को एक्टिवेट करेगा लेकिन ये सिर्फ क्रिएटिव स्पेसिस के लिए मैं बोल रहा हूं अगर साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर में किसी भी क्रिएटिव स्पेस में या किसी भी ऐसे इंसान के घर पे जो कि क्रिएटिव फील्ड में कोई काम कर रहा है उसकी प्रॉपर्टी में अगर साउथ ईस्ट में वाटर बॉडी है या बाथरूम है या साउथ ईस्ट का फ्लोरिंग रेज्ड है तो वो उसकी क्रिएटिविटी को हेम्पर करेगा तो रसेश ना कमिंग टू द नॉर्थ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन क्योंकि ये मून का डायरेक्शन है बिल्कुल, बिल्कुल। इसके लिए क्या करना चाहिए नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर का जो कमरा है वहां पे वाइट कलर हो वहां की जो वॉल्स हैं वो वाइट कलर की ले सकते हैं अगर वाइट कलर वॉल्स पे पॉसिबल नहीं है तो उस पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन में आप वाइट कर्टन्स ले सकते हैं Uh, वहाँ पे अगर आपने फर्नीचर प्लेस किया है और सोफाज हैं और सिटिंग है तो आप वहाँ पे जो टेपिस्ट्री है जो अपोलस्ट्री है उसे वाइट कलर में ले सकते हैं इससे उस डायरेक्शन uh, की जो एलिमेंट है वो ठीक uh, तरीके से एक्टिवेटेड रहेगी नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर में नेचुरली uh, अगर स्ट्रक्चर में विंडो आ जाती है क्योंकि उस कॉर्नर का डोमिनेंट एलिमेंट इज एयर वायु है तो अगर वहां पे विंडो है तो वो कॉर्नर हमेशा एक्टिवेटेड रहता है जो कि क्रिएटिव लोगों के लिए बहुत ही अच्छा है क्योंकि अगर नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर एक्टिवेटेड है तो वो उनको फेम दिलाने में भी बहुत बड़ा काम करता है स्विशर्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एंश्योर दैट द नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फ्लोर लेवल इज नॉट स्लोपिंग ओके बिकॉज इफ देर इज अ स्लोप टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्थ ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट और वेस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट देर इज अ डिस्टर्बेंस इन द फ्लो ऑफ मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी एंड एज वी ऑल नो द पॉजिटिव मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी वर्क एंड ऑल्सो द एनर्जी इज विच आर फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम द ईस्ट द सोलार एनर्जी टेंस टू गेट एक्यूमुलेटेड Uh, in the western quadrant hmm. if if there is a slope down hmm. uh, which hampers which hinders which creates an obstruction uh, for any creative individual or for any creative person in the northwest corner there should be no black color hmm. in any form hmm. uh, whether it is curtains hmm. whether it is artifact whether it is show piece whether it is upholstery whether it is flooring ब्लैक कलर अगर उस कॉर्नर में डोमिनेंट हो जाए तो मून की जो पॉजिटिव एनर्जी है hmm. आ, वो वहां पे नलिफाई हो जाती है द एब्सेंस ऑफ ल्यूनार एनर्जी इन दैट कॉर्नर क्रिएट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशंस फॉर एनी क्रिएटिव परस्यू दैट इज हैपनिंग इन दैट स्पेस ये तो बात हो गई इन दोनों कॉर्नर्स की शेप्स के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से क्या कुछ है जो कि ध्यान में रखना चाहिए फॉर एनी क्रिएटिव स्पेस देयर आर डिफरेंट शेप्स दैट कैन बी यूज्ड स्क्वायर एंड रेक्टेंगुलर आर द मोस्ट स्टेबल शेप्स दैट एवरीवन नोस बट वन कुड यूज डिफरेंट शेप्स लाइक अ हेक्सागन और एन ऑक्टेगन यू कुड हैव हेक्सागोनल साइड टेबल्स यू कैन हैव ऑक्टेगोनल सेंटर टेबल देन देयर इज अ फ्लिप साइड एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट Uh, vastu has contrarian views if one wants to use triangular shapes mm. creatively mm. Uh, you can have a small triangular table uh, with a crystal vase placed in the southeast corner mm. and that will rightly activate the venus triangular shape is not permissible in vastu mm. because it symbolizes fire लेकिन अगर उसे साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर में यूज किया जाए तो आप उसे क्रिएटिवली यूज करते हैं बिलीव इट और नॉट बट क्रिएटिविटी इज जस्ट अ स्टेट ऑफ माइंड फ्रॉम व्हाट यू कुक टू हाउ यू ड्रेस टू हाउ यू कैन टर्न द मोस्ट क्लेरिकल ऑफ ड्यूटीज एंड मेक देम मोर इंटरेस्टिंग इट्स ऑल अबाउट द अप्रोच एंड नाउ रसेश एंड आई आर गोइंग टू ऑफर यू सम क्रिएटिव सॉल्यूशंस फॉर योर कंसर्न्स बट द वास्तु वे 
Asesh, with that, we get moving to our first question, which has been sent in to us from Ravi in Delhi. He writes in saying that, is there a specific time frame when one starts noticing the benefits of Vastu corrections? There is a time frame and that time frame is one moon cycle, hmm. which is 28 days. In hmm. our uh, Shastra, we call it Krishna Paksh and Shukla Paksh. Kehte hain. Hmm. So, किसी भी चेंज वास्तु चेंज करने के बाद 28 दिनों में ये जो एनर्जी शिफ्ट हुई है उसकी इंपैक्ट 28 दिनों में एक्सपीरियंस कर सकते हैं हम रसेश द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स इन फ्रॉम चिंतन इन मुंबई ही राइट्स वास सेइंग दैट ही इज अ राइटर एंड हैज अ साउथ फेसिंग स्टूडियो अपार्टमेंट हिज रूम इज इन द वेस्ट विद अ बाथरूम दैट इज अटैच्ड टू इट now he has made some changes to his room and now the bathroom door is facing his desk since the time he's made this change he's not able to concentrate most of all he's facing writer's block he wants to know if this has anything to do with the vastu change that he's made as far as his uh, desk is concerned mm -hmm. uh, from what he has written mm -hmm. i can make out that the bathroom door mm -hmm. is cutting yeah the desk mm -hmm. it is coming in the line of the desk mm -hmm. There is a very simple solution that he could do. वो सिर्फ एक कर्टन लगा दे बाथरूम डोर पे। कर्टन लगाएंगे तो बाथरूम डोर की इम्पैक्ट 70 to 80 percent रिड्यूस हो जाएगी। और इनके काम में जो इन्हें डिफिकल्टीज आती हैं, जो दिक्कतें फेस करते हैं, वो अपने आप रिजॉल्व हो जाएगी। With that, we move to our next question. We have Karthik from Chennai sending in his question via email. Now he says that he really enjoys watching the show. And it has helped him understand things that are Vastu compliant. Thank you, Karthik. However, he wants to ask whether religion plays any role in Vastu. That's a good question, Rasesh. <laughs> and I'm sure a confusion in many, many minds. This is indeed a very good question. Uh, Swesha, Vastu is 100% secular. It is pretty much like yoga. In fact, what yoga does to body, Vastu does to home. Hmm. And yoga is something which can be practiced by anyone on this planet Earth. The same is with Vastu. Uh, irrespective of your caste, creed and religion, Vastu works at the same level. With that, we move to our next question which has been written to us uh, from Payal. She says that she is a choreographer and has a lot of mirrors in her dance studio for obvious reasons. Uh, she once read that mirrors should be avoided. If that is correct, what can she do to balance the energies in her studio? Swesha, it is something uh, that her work demands. Hmm. Uh, if it is a choreographer's studio, mirrors uh, are bound to be there. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it goes without saying, right? Uh, what she should keep in mind is that the main door of her studio should not directly come in the line of the mirror. अगर आपके दरवाजे का शटर एक तरफ खुलता है राइट साइड पे जाके तो ठीक दरवाजे के सामने तो मिरर नहीं होना चाहिए लेकिन जहाँ पे खुलता है वो सामने की वॉल मतलब जिस डायरेक्शन में डोर खुलता है उसके अपोजिट वॉल पे साइडवेज वहाँ पे भी मिरर्स नहीं होने चाहिए बाकी हर जगह पे मिरर्स इनके काम के लिए ठीक है Pail, I hope that answers your question. With that, we come to the end of our questions. And now it's time for us to get the tip of the day from Rasesh. For all you creative people out there, if you want your creative juices to keep on flowing, hang a crystal chandelier in the southeast corner of your property or place a crystal showpiece in the southeast corner and see your creativity going up. Must say that was quite a creatively enriching half hour. With that, we come to the end of our show. We'll join you again next week with some more observations, suggestions and solutions only on the Vastu Show. Until then, goodbye and good luck. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.